Hey guys, welcome back to Movie Geek Production Channel, and today in video I'm going to talk about a one of my favorite sound stars, that is Buster Keaton. So in this video, I'm going to share my top five favorite Buster Keaton films. Now, in this video, I'm hoping for the people who have not yet introduced you the world of silent films. I think silent film is just so hard to get into, but with Buster Keaton, I think it's the most accessible and easy to get into the world of silent film. The great jumping on point into the world of silent film. And I'm hoping this video can help you get into the world of silent film for the first time like I did back in 2014 or 15 long ago. Because Buster Keaton films are mainly fun. There are fun, fun, fun films to just sit back and relax and enjoy the gags and the entertainment that Buster Keaton brings into his own stunts. He is a great silent actor, one of my favorite silent stars. Uh, I think he's tied between Charlie Chaplin and Harry Lord, but Buster Keaton remained the king of the silent stars for me. And I think his films are really easy to watch and very accessible to watch for getting into the world of silent film. I'm hoping that this video can help that. Before we start doing the top five, you can take this as recommendation if you will. We start off with number five with Sherlock Jr. This blue release inclu also includes the Navigator, but we're not going to talk about the Navigator. We're, we're going to talk about Sherlock. Jr., which is one of his short, more shortest films that he had made, and one of the most creative film that he made. Something about Sherlock Jr. is just pure, pure imagination. The way he did with his the film Sherlock Jr. is just obviously your typical Buster Keaton film, but there's so much to it. It's about a man played by Buster Keaton who is a movie projectionist, and he had dreamed to become something more. And he had dreamt that he was part of the movies, and that's where things go bombastic and wonderful and creative and fun, 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 fun. And that's what Sherlock Jr. is. It's so much fun. It's a blast. It's just so easy to watch, yet so enjoyable. It just literally brings me a big sp smile in my face, ear to ear. The way Buster Keaton did with this film is just, obviously you get a lot of stunts in this film, where it's so much fun to watch practically as well and again this is back in the day this is the 20s era there's no cgi whatsoever the way butter king did in this film is just chaotic and insane but at the same time awesome because the way they did it pay off perfectly if you want to get into the world of butter king for the first time i think Chuck jr is a perfect way to get into his filmography and who he is as a silent star. Yes, you can watch all of his short films, but Sherlock Jr. is a perfect way to get into his feature length films. And Sherlock Jr. is just a, a good time overall. My number four will go to Our Hospitality. This is one of his most iconic films in his filmography. And this film did not disappoint. It is, yet again, so much fun, but there's so much going on with this film. It's about this there's two families who had a big fight. Um, you know, they hate each other. It's a, it's a bloodbath for them. And if something bad happens in the past, that they had to send him away to safety, basically, when he was a, a young baby. But he did not know, or does not know about this whole, um, you know, family drama that's going on between the two families, between his, his family and the other family. And on top of that, He's falling in love with a girl that happened to be that family who hates his family bloodline. So there's a lot going on with this film. It's just chaotic, but at the same time you're rooting for Buster Keaton character to get him to safety. Because he wants, he needs to go to a town to reclaim his birthright, basically. Trying to reclaim his um, land from his family, basically. And trying to get through that. But he does, he's so oblivious what's going on that he fell in love with the girl, like a normal girl, but did not know what's the behind the doors, basically. And it's just, it's just so good. It's just so good. So many great moments. So many great slapstick moments as well. It's just a fantastic, sometimes intense moment that you, as an audience, know what's going to happen next and next and after that. And this is a fantastic, fantastic, well-written um, just a very tight 
and compelling, fun, entertaining, thrilling, intense film that you're just waiting for Buster Keaton character to get to safety, but at the same time you're waiting for Buster Keaton character to, to want to get that girl that he wants, that he fell in love with. And there's so many great moments. And the third act of the film is just iconic, if you will. But not as as iconic from um, from his other films, but this is just as iconic as his other iconic films as well. Um, but this is a fantastic film, very tight, um, entertaining film um, that is just the best. It's just the best. My number three goes to Steamboat Bill Jr., part of the other collection with the general. So what this film is about is about this boy played by Buster Keaton trying to get an approval from his father who is a steamboat captain but his father does not understand who he is who does not accept his approval that he's trying that Buster Keaton character trying to approve of to be like him even though he the father doesn't feel right about him and there's a lot going on as well just like our hospitality and selecting a lot going on a lot of bombastic um, craziness going on with the character who trying to prove his father that he is worth something. That he is something that he can be like his father. And I think it's a really wonderful message. Um, we all had that, that we had to deal with, his, with our dad or mom trying to prove who we are as a person and trying to accept their approval that we are different from and everybody, um, honestly. And this is a beautiful message, but other than that, but it's a fun film overall. And this film has one of the most iconic stunts when the the one the house on um, front house fell over onto him, and it's one of the most iconic pieces of Buster Keaton career. And that's where you know him as a stuntman, not only an actor, producer, writer, or director, but also as a stuntman. And this film, Stimple Bill Jr. showcased that. And the third, third act of the film, just like I mentioned before about the, the big stunt um, that he did with, with the house, front door house, the front wall of the house fell over. But there's it's so many great moments going on in the film. It's just, it's so exciting for the same time you're rooting for him. I think what I love about Buster Keating, um in general as an actor, all of his character are something that we can root for. And this... And no exception with Stimple Bill Jr. You wouldn't for him to get this approval from his father trying to prove that he is something. He is something that he, that his father that, that can be proud of. It's so much fun, it's so entertaining, but at the same time, just a classic. On to my number two, this has no introduction. It is iconic. It is one of his masterpieces. That is the general. Also, in, also includes Steamboat Bill Jr., which we just talked about a minute ago, but we're going to talk about the general. One of his most, if not one of his most iconic films that he made that was that set the bar for him as one, as known for him as one of the greats. Um, the general is iconic for the stunts, and it's iconic for that alone. One of the films that you have to watch before you die. Is that iconic? The general is a film about a engineer played by Buster Keaton who loved trains and loved this job, but his girlfriend wants him to join the army, but he does not want to. But the girlfriend sees him as a coward, so to do that, he tried his best to join the army to prove that he is not the coward, and that's the whole shenanigan creation it begins. This film is hilarious and exciting and thrilling and so much fun so tight so entertaining and it's just one of his most iconic and influential um film that without this film they won't i mean we won't we wouldn't have a tom cruise of this generation tom cruise is basically Buster Keaton of the generation um you know the general is like one of the most iconic pieces of work that Buster Keaton did and this is one of his most masterpieces. Um, this is his masterpiece, the general. It is one truly great. There's so many great moments in the film that, you, again, that's the main theme. You were rooting for him, rooting for him to prove that he is not a coward, that he is brave. And you know that he has so much heart. He has a big heart. So the main reason why he joined the army so he can prove his girlfriend that he's not a coward. That's the whole main idea of the story. 
But there's so much going on with on top of that that he's trying to stop this um exciting chase, basically train chase chase, um train chase, train whatever. This is exciting action sequences. Obviously this film has one of the most iconic stunts and at the time it was one of the most expensive stunts that they did when the train um when the train goes to the bridge and explosion begins and the train goes down to the lake or river or something like that. It's just one of the most exciting exciting real practical action pieces. Just my eyes was in just in awe with that. This is one of the great if you want to get into a silent film, the general is a must watch because it's a great way to get into um silent comedies as well. You know, Chuck, uh, you know, Charlie Chaplin and Harry Lord. The general is one truly great. And my number one, this film is released by the Criterion Collection, and you know me, I love Criterion Collection, and that is the Cameraman. Oh my gosh, it was like yesterday when this was announced, I was like, I had a heart attack. Like, oh my gosh, Buster Keaton film is coming to the Criterion Collection. Yes, we got Harry Lord and Charlie Chaplin, but it's Buster Keaton time to join the Criterion Collection, join the, the, the ranks of the best, you know. Um, the cameraman had never been released on Blu-ray. This is the first time Blu-ray debuted in here in the United States. And this film blew me away. So much to love for this movie. So much. It's about a man who basically trying to impress a girl that he is a photographer in this news. But he's poor. So he had to buy a really cheap yet old camera. That's what the, the title stands for. The cameraman. He is the cameraman. And he's trying to impress this young girl. And the whole story is that you're trying to root for him to get this girl of his dreams and trying to prove that he is a man and there's so many great moments especially the end of the film the twist oh my gosh it blew me away my heart was racing but at the same time i smiled oh my gosh so many great big action sequences and after watching this movie i actually preferred this over the general i love the general Love, love, love this general. But this is another of his truly his match piece. And this is the film that's this is the last one of the last um truly great film from him before he went downhill after doing the dirties that he struggled a bit. Um after this movie he made Spike Marriage and that film is not great. You know, you can tell there was a lot of studio interference and he lost a lot of creative control. And this is one of his last movie that has full creative freedom. And it shows because this is technically a Buster Keaton film. Truly is. There's so many Buster Keaton ism in this film. Um, so many great moments. This is I love this movie. That's all I can say. I love this movie. And that is why it's my number one favorite Buster Keaton film of all time. And it's rewatchable too. Um love this movie and I love this cover. Um yeah, please watch this film. I highly, highly recommend. There you have it, guys. That is my top five favorite Buster Keaton films. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Letterbox, and Instagram. Have a good one. Take care.